You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Here is a complete video of a maker set from start to finish. If you want to skip ahead to specific points in the video, then check the description below for skip times. Enjoy! Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop, and it's time for the next video in our Revisit Maker series. And this one is popcorn, and we haven't done a lot of popcorn videos, actually just this one. And the original video uh, just needed some freshening up, didn't have the box, and I you know a lot of people do like popcorn. So we have other popcorn makers we're going to bring out now. But we wanted to show you this one first as a revisit. And as you can see, Mickey is having a blast making popcorn. Minnie and uh, Donald Duck eating uh, popcorn. The little birdies eating popcorn. And then, uh, oh, there it is. That's what it looks like. It's a dome-shaped popcorn popper. And you got Mickey ears in the middle of the spinner there. And this top piece is actually the popcorn bowl. So you flip it over when it's done. And then uh, that's how you just eat the popcorn out of it. And it looks like that's the on switch there. And then let's take a look at the back. There's the steps. Combine, it says pour oil into a nonstick pan, place clear dome on the heat resistant base, heat, add popcorn through the opening in the top. See, that's the opening there. And then uh, press the on button and watch the magic. And then at the end, of course, enjoy. When popping slows, turn off popper and secure red cap to the top of the clear dome. Flip popper over and serve. I guess if you want to add butter, and salt, that would be the time to do it. It's from Back to Basics. Pretty excited to get going on this one. So let me get it out of the box and we'll get started making popcorn. Okay, here we go, all the pieces out of the box. We're one step closer to making popcorn. I usually just like to go over the uh, component pieces, right? So here's the main unit. You can see Mickey's feet here and then Mickey ears here. This actually will come off, you can just unloosen it. And then it makes it easier to clean and wipe out. Here, let me just turn it on for you real quick so you can see it spin. So you're going to put your oil in here and then your popcorn kernels and it's going to pop. It's really cool, but we'll get to that in just a second here. And then here's the dome cover and it's pretty neat the way it's designed. This actually goes this way and then there's this catch bowl here which goes on top. And then this also shows you how much uh, popcorn to put in. It says right here kernels and uh, we'll do that in the next part of the video. So right now I think... Uh, I'm going to get in some supplies here. My popcorn will go over the oil that I'm going to use. Ah, I'm not going to use oil. It's going to be a surprise. So we come back. We're going to get started making popcorn. All right, I'm all set. I just wanted to go over a couple things here. Now, you can use any high smoke point oil. So you want something that isn't going to make a lot of smoke when it gets hot. That could be like canola, peanut oil, I think even grapeseed oil. Right now, I am going to use bacon grease. And when I did the first video, I hinted to people that that's how I normally make popcorn. I use bacon grease in a pot, and then I just cook it on the stove. So this is kind of do the same thing. So let me move it over here. So this is a third of a cup. I just wanted to show you that is where that line is. Once you flatten it out, look at that. Okay. So that's perfectly on that line. So it's about a third of a cup of uh, popcorn and three tablespoons of oil or grease. That's a pretty good recipe amount when you're making popcorn. So let me just uh, move these out of the way. I gotta let it heat up a little bit, so I'm gonna turn this on, and then I will let it run just a little bit, and then I'm gonna come back when I think it's closer to put the grease in. So I'll do that. The next time we check back, I'll have the grease in there for you. All right, I thought you'd like to see it spin a little bit, the Mickey ears. Uh, I have not put the bacon grease in yet, so I'll do that now. And then I'll have to keep checking back, because it does take a little while to get it to the right temperature. So in goes the grease. Here we go. It should eventually just be clear like oil when it's all set. So like I said, that's about three tablespoons. Now what I'll normally do when I'm making popcorn is I'll just take a kernel and then just kind of set it in the hot oil, in this case grease, and just kind of see how it reacts, if it's ready or not. If it pops right away, you know it's hot enough, so. Obviously it is not ready. Maybe we'll just see how long that does take to pop. 
I have to be careful here because it will pop and uh, I'll probably move this back a little in a second here so it doesn't get on my camera lid. So let me do that and I'll be right back. Alright, so it's much further away now. And as you can see, now I don't know if you can see it, there is smoke coming off, but that kernel still has not popped, so I'm just going to keep waiting. Let me put another one in. Oh, it just popped. So now I'm just going to watch it and say, all right, well, how long does it take? If you notice, one of the little arms is lower than the other arm when it hits that top section, so it's going to leave the kernel then push the kernel. See that into the oil? Okay, so that one popped much quicker. I think we're close. Let me just try one more and see. It sizzles real good when it gets in the hot grease. And that's gonna, the kernels are gonna push each other around. Once you get a lot in there, you'll see it kinda moves it really nice. Okay, I think we're pretty close there. Let me, uh, Take a quick look here, make sure my lens is okay before I get started, and then we're gonna put in the kernels. All right, we're good to go, so I'm gonna drop them in. I'll spread them around just like if I was dropping them in from the top. Then we'll put the lid on, and then we'll just watch it. Even though I spread them around, it still pushes them to one side of one of the paddles. And then some, they kind of like fall over the edge when it gets too high. See, now it's pretty balanced out in there. And once it starts popping, I'll zoom out a little bit. It's starting to steam up on the dome. So it's moving around real nice. They're all getting coated in the uh, the bacon grease. Hopefully it's just going to start going crazy. And you can smell the bacon smell from the grease that was in there. And the top has those holes in it so it's kind of letting air out and the smell out and the steam out. It's the anticipation of that first round of pops. I just heard one pop. Get ready. Oop, there's another one. Here we go.
All right, so when this popping slows down just a little bit more, I will turn it off and then get ready to flip it. I think it's close. I think we're good. So now it's off. I'll be right back. Okay, so I have since uh, put the lid on. I just set it in place and pressed it down. So now I just need to flip it. And I'm kind of far away, so it's not the easiest thing to do in this direction here. So I'm going to flip it here. And then I, uh, I like to hold the top because it doesn't always stay exactly where you want it. So I'll flip it like this. Okay, we'll take this off. There you go. So let me uh, get my fixings here in a second and we'll kind of take a look at it. I don't see any real kernels in there. So it all popped. Does it look, look good to you? I need to move my popcorn popper out of the way and then we're going to put butter on it, salt, you know what? Have a refreshment while we do it. All right, I am back. Let me just move this a little bit over. But as you can see, it looks really nice. I don't see any kernels on the bottom really at all. So it all popped. And it's a soft crispy, which is good. And that's without any salt or butter. Let me move that off to the side. So I brought in two tablespoons of butter and a little bit of salt. That's what I use. So to get my popcorn ready. I usually just go in layers, so I'll just put a little bit and then a little salt and then I'll give it a nice flip and then do the next layer and then a little salt and then a flip. This way it's all nicely coated. I don't think I need to do more than that. So does it taste heavy in bacon? It will not taste heavy in bacon. But you get the hint of bacon. It needs a little more salt. I like it salty. So let's get something to drink here. I'm going to bring in, since this is a Disney Mickey Mouse popcorn popper, I'm bringing in my Mickey's Diamond Jubilee. And then you've got the relief of Mickey on the side. I thought that was pretty neat. Don't know where I got it. And then I'm going to try this uh, new drink here. It's called the Pop Shop Orange since 1969. Let's open it up. And let's pour it in and see. You want to see it pour in? The fizz? Do you like the fizz? Let's see. Here we go. Ooh, nice orange. Okay, so now I have my refreshment and then my nice and salty popcorn. Have you ever made popcorn with bacon grease? Leave it in the comments. Have you ever, or how do you make your popcorn? Ever use Jiffy Pop, microwave popcorn, air poppers? That is really good. I wish I could share this with everybody. I would keep making batch after batch till you are all satisfied. Let me taste the orange. Nice. Nice orange flavor. It's sweet. And it goes well with my popcorn. So there you go. I think... Uh, it was a success. And if you want to see more remake videos like this Disney Popcorn Popper, look in the description. We'll have a playlist for all the videos that we're remaking. And then uh, also you can just search our channel. And thanks for watching. Later. If you want to find this item, click the link in the description area below the video. You can also watch more videos in this series by clicking here. Thanks for watching. And always remember, if you see a lucky penny, pick it up.